Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know about five weeks ago, I did a video on Storm OS. Now, this is the operating system that has basically replaced Manjaro on both of my business laptops. It has been working flawlessly and I have had no issues. But there have been some changes to Storm OS. And that's what we're going to cover today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is brought to you by OnlyOffice. If you want to go to their website, it's OnlyOffice.com. Are you presently running something like a Google Docs or using Microsoft Online? Do you know that all of your emails, photos, and everything they have access to, they can read, they can use for whatever they want? Don't believe me? Go look it up. You don't have that problem with OnlyOffice. It's a secure office and productivity suite. Now, if you scroll down on their website, you've got OnlyOffice Docs, which is collaborative online document editors. You've got spreadsheets, documents, presentations, and forms. It's got the highest compatibility with Microsoft Office, easy integration with ready-to-use connectors, and WOPI support and well-documented API. And then you also have OnlyOffice Workspace. Do you have a business? You can run your entire business through OnlyOffice. It's got document, email, CRM, projects, calendar. It's got enhanced security features, including private rooms, LDAP and Active Directory authentication, compliance, and international security standards. And speaking of security, let's go over here and let's take a look at the security real quick. It lets you know we provide a comprehensive range of security tools and services keeping your data safe on all fronts. Host solutions on premises, encrypt documents and data, customize access settings, and connect authentication services, and manage access rights to protect yourself from unauthorized access, data leaks, and insider actions. Now let's go back real quick. In one of my favorite things I like about it, it's available for Windows, Mac OS, and for Linux. If you use Linux, you can get OnlyOffice. It is a great tool. You can also get it on the Google Play Store for your Android phone or at the Apple iTunes Store for your iPhone. So zip on over and check it out. OnlyOffice.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now, let's get to the video. Now, we are at Storm OS's website. And if you scroll down, it's pretty simple. It's got About Us, About Storm OS, and see what's being said about us. They got some reviews on there. And it's a pretty solid Linux distribution. But like I said, Ben Fitzpatrick and Seeker have been making a lot of changes, and I want to go over those real quick. So first thing I want to do is I want to go over and click on Download. And when you come over here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the very first one, XFCE. Now before, you used to have an XFCE variant and a KDE variant. They have dropped KDE completely, and it is strictly XFCE now. You can download direct storm os iso or you can also torrent download it now but the first thing you want to do is you want to go down here and look at the readmes there's a lot of readmes you need to pay attention to because there's a lot of good information in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slip on down here and we're going to go ahead and look at this one that was updated right here it says they've added two more features to the storm os utility program which we're going to go over here in a second it's a great utility and what's beautiful about it is you will be able to also use a script to inject it into an xfc arch install that you already have it's a great utility it's a great tool and it's got some things that are just basically going to make using your distribution a whole lot easier they've got some retheming they've done and then up here on May 2nd, they updated. They've made several small changes in the Storm OS utility program. They removed the lower button to launch a terminal and replaced it with PayMac. And the software center titled Add and Remove, this will help the new user locate and find software that they are interested in finding. Now, if you're somebody on Arch and you're going to come into the comments and say, if you don't use Pac-Man and use the terminal, you're not really using Arch. We don't really need to hear that here because what we're doing and what I believe Ben and Seeker are doing is trying to make an operating system that is welcoming to people and easier for people that don't have the time to go through everything they need to in the terminal to use Arch. I think this is a great distribution. It makes things a lot easier. Like me, I've got two different jobs and I'm running a YouTube channel. Yes, I can compile Arch from terminal, but I just simply don't have the time. Now let's go up here on May 4th. They also did another update. It says we are making a quick announcement. Step 10 is designed to help improve battery life and power management. 
This has CPU frequency and TLP, and its system CTL commands to enable and start it also. But they discovered on Dell Inspiron that the TLP might disable the webcam and activate it and cut it off for about 30 seconds. That's something that you need to look at if you're using this on a Dell. And then down here, they do cover back on April 28th, they said StormOS has decided to release the StormOS utility program to be used in most vanilla base XFC Arch distros. And it's a Storm OS injector. And then if you come down a little further, it says right here, they have uploaded the Storm repo installer. Simply extract it to any folder and then open a terminal and type the following command. It lets you know how to do it very easily. And once you do that, it says the process begins after a few seconds. If everything's done, you'll see the Storm OS utility program pop right up. And if it doesn't, you can go look for it in the start menu. And that, my friends, is right up here. The repo installer is right there if you want to use that utility on your Arch XFC install. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to the Storm OS desktop. And if you download Storm OS, throw it on a USB or open it into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. It brings up the Calamaris installer right off the bat. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this right here. But this is definitely something interesting. If you do download this or you want to install it on a virtual machine, do that because the way they do the Calamaris installer is great. Plus, you have the option of putting on StormOS packages. It is really great the way they have set it up. So check that out. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And we get back to the main screen. I love the new wallpaper that they got. I love the theming right out of the box with the XFCE. If you come up here, you've got a few things that are already on your desktop. You've got WGetem, Play Movie, then you've got Menu X right here, and then you've got Install System, and then of course Axle 8. What I'm going to get to is I wanna open the utility that, so you can see this great utility that they now have. Come down here, we'll click on that, and I believe it would be under Accessories and Storm OS System Tool. Now when you bring this up, it's got a lot of options right here. It lets you know right off the bat, greetings live user, use this utility tool to maintain and upgrade your Storm OS system. Now once you get this installed, and of course put your name and everything in there, it'll have greetings, whatever your name is. But right here, step one, you can refresh your mirrors. Anybody that knows if you're using Arch Linux, first thing you want to do after install is definitely refresh your mirrors before you do any updates or anything like that. Then you can come down here, you've got system updates. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring it up right here in the terminal. It'll check core, extra, community. It checks it all out. I really love that. And it'll start with full system upgrade. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that and cancel because we are in a live environment. Then you have your AUR updates. You can do that. It'll bring it up in here in the AUR and do the exact same thing. Core, extra, community. It'll check all that out for you. Then it will initiate those updates. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then if you come down here, you got your Arch Keyring updater. Renew your Arch Keyring. Install Team Viewer. Install LSHW. Install I2C tools for decode DIMMs. Step 8, install NVIDIA DKMS after that. Reboot. So basically, if you're going to install your NVIDIA, you need to reboot. I recommend, even though it doesn't state it on here, that Anytime you do full updates or kernel updates or anything like that, go ahead and reboot. It's not Windows, I understand that, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm just common practice, that's for me. Whatever you want to do, you can. It's your PC and you can do whatever you want. And then enable trackpad tap to click for laptops only. It's got an automated reboot. And then enable power management for laptops only as well. Warning, that's an automated reboot. Basically what it's telling you there, if you choose step nine or step 10, it's automatically gonna reboot anyway. Now I do wanna say that it's raining pretty heavily in the background and I've got thunder and lightning going on. You might be hearing that, and if you do, I apologize. We've had days and days of storms. So that's just the way it is, but I kind of find the irony in the storms and me covering Storm OS to be pretty great. So we go down to the next. You've got the memory readers, works on most PCs. And then Memory Reader 2 works on some PCs. And then LSHW for System Info and Decode DIMMs for Memory Reader. Then you've got a Memory Reader 2 Memory Reader Info. Blank your screen, select here, and then Block Detail Info right here. So if you come down here, you've got Game Utilities and Scripts. You can come down here and you can install Steam natively. 
you can install Heroic Launcher, Lutris Launcher, Proton GE Updater, Mango HUD, Bottles, Warpinator, Gnome Calculator. You've got Flame Shot right here. And I'm telling you, if you want a screenshot program that is fully featured, Flame Shot is definitely the way to go. You can install Transmission right here. You can install Thunderbird, install Zed. Launch Replace All Fire Directory Menu, Launch XFCE4 Display Settings, and then this is a reserved area for probably some great tools they're going to continue to add in the upcoming releases. Come down here, you've got your CUPS printer, then you've got your CUPS printer web interface, and then you have optional Epson drivers and then drivers or HP drivers pre installed. And then About Us Donations and Merchandise, you've got Install Discord. Visit us and join us at Storm OS and Stormfish OS Discord channel. So if you want to get on Discord, they do have a great Discord. Quite honestly, I'm trying to get mine set up and I want to join theirs. And I've just got so many things going on right now, I've got to get that done. Distro Watch. And I do want to say this. They do have a merchandise store right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this because I do want to be fully transparent. Because what we're trying to do right now is get a lot of things set up to where I have a separate website for products and different items that I'm going to be doing. But as of right now, Storm OS is linked to my eBuzz Central store because we do have Storm OS apparel available. But what we are trying to do is we're trying to separate that to where Storm OS will have their own store in Merchandise Center. And I will kind of just help with some of the design and things like that. So... If you get a chance to support them, and if you want to make a donation to them, you can. Or if you want to buy one of their t-shirts or hoodies or something like that, a donation will make it back to them as well. So I'm just going to keep you up to date on that, and I want to keep this fully transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then they do have a GoFundMe page right here. You can go see them over on Patreon. You can visit the Storm OS site. And then you can go to the SourceForge site. You can visit the Stormfish OS site. Or you got the README and then Storm OS Arch commands. Now, everybody, this is a great utility. I love these welcome screen utilities in every Linux distro that I've looked at for the simple fact that it takes a lot of the guesswork out of a lot of things and it makes it easier to use. And I'm I'm for that, quite honestly. Anything that makes Linux easier to use for the end user, I am completely for it. Anything that makes it easier to use Arch Linux, I'm completely for it. We're going to have people out there that use Arch and say, this is a waste of time because Arch is Arch. If you want to use Arch, just use Vanilla Arch and blah, 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 and this and that. I disagree. If you're an Arch user and you can do everything you need to do from Terminal, you're great. If you're somebody that uses Arch and you use it in a distribution, that's great too. You know why? Because you're using Linux. Linux is better than Windows. It's better than Mac. I'm tired of preaching that, but I'm going to do it every single day that I get the opportunity to make a video. Now, I want to go ahead and close out of this utility program because that's really what I wanted to center on in this video is how powerful and how great this utility is and the ability for you to be able to put it on other Arch XFCE distributions with just a script injector. Look at it, read it, and they do recommend on the site that if you're going to do that, try it in a virtual machine first, see how everything goes. That's just a protective measure. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. As you can see, it still has a great, beautiful XFCE desktop. And then if you come down here, you've got your accessories, development, graphics, multimedia, office. You've got pretty much all the tools you need right off the bat. If you need a office suite, you can, of course, go download one. I recommend only office. That's the one I use. But if you want to go a different route, you can do that. That's your prerogative. It's your PC. You own it. It's Everything is yours. So... Go ahead and take a look at that. Now, what I do want to do is I want to run over and look at the emulator real quick. There's the terminal emulator. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And I want to go ahead and see if they have HTOP. I do love the NeoFetch. That looks really cool. It lets you know that it's Arch Linux. We're on 5.17.5 kernel, which is a new newest kernel. That is great. It lets you know the theme. So let's see if they have HTOP real quick. And they do. Right now, I got 4 gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine at rest we're sitting at about 640 with just the terminal open so it is lightweight and let me go ahead and close out of that you do get things like gimp out of the box with this you've got a lot of accessories right out of the box you've got discs you've got gimp internet you've got firefox thunderbird for your mail vlc media player office you've got gnu merrick abby word like I said, you can download only Office or maybe something like LibreOffice if that's more what you're into. 
and then settings you got add and remove software now this is something i want to open up right here they have added paymac to the storm os okay you can install from the terminal if you would like to but for those of you that are used to using the manjaros of the world that have paymac in them all you got to do is come over here and you're good to go i do recommend the first thing you do is go to the hamburger menu go to preferences Go ahead and go to third party. Go ahead and enable your AUR support. And then you'll be able to find anything you need to in here. So if you wanted to do a search for something like OBS Studio, there's OBS Studio. You click on it. It's right there. You can get it from the official repositories. So that makes installing software really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. So as you can see, they've made this operating system really easy to use. They give you a lot of options, a lot of different things you can do to customize it and make it your own, a lot of different things you can do to mold it into the operating system that you want. It's the XFCE environment. It makes things really simple. Okay, you can change wallpapers. You can pretty much, they got some beautiful wallpapers, guys. They really do. Like I said, I recommend you zip on over, download it. Throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box, give it a test drive. It's definitely something I think you're going to like. And I'm going to tell you, I've had it on two business machines now for going on five weeks and haven't missed a beat. My businesses are running smoothly, and I can't say that for when I had Manjaro on there. Manjaro started breaking like every week, and I just can't deal with that. When you've got a business to run, and you need to make money, and you need your computers to work for you, Storm OS has been doing it, and it's been doing it well. Don't forget, zip on over to the eBuzz Central store. Take a look around. If you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up. If there's something you would like to see on the store that's not there, please let us know in the comments below, and we'll do our best to get it up there for you. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, maybe going over to PayPal and throwing us a donation, or zip on over to Patreon. Come a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.